G'day folks, this is Mike from Distant Hills Touring. I'm putting together a video for you guys which is really about our battery management system um, that I've put into the, our new van and it's really a continuation of the previous video that I put together. Um, the idea behind this video and the other reason I'm pulling it out is I thought I'd just take a moment to have a bit of a chat about some of the resources that I got to help us or me to make the decisions about our system and how I want it to, to run. Um, so there are some good resources out there um, because that was one thing that I really struggled with is finding good information to be able to put a system together that would meet our needs. So I'll run the footage that I caught on the day and then I'll come back and have a real brief chat um, about some of those resources where you can get that info um, and um, the resources that I use to put our system together. So I hope this is useful and I hope this can um, help other people put together or have some ideas on how to put together their own system. All right, I'll roll the footage. Let me show you the battery system is something that um, I worked on a fair amount um, just recently because obviously you want to go and put a 12 volt fridge in. Um, so that sort of has changed the way that I wanted to do the battery setup. So rather having AGM batteries, weight issues, all those things that come with it, um, I've changed it over to lithium. So let me open that up and I can show you that. Now, before I go wild and I show you the setup that I've done, how I've installed it and all those things, let me um, put some caveats in. Um, first of all, I am no electrician. I'm not an auto sparky. I'm not a 12 volt, 240 volt electrician or any of that stuff. Um, I'm a person who likes to read about stuff, look at other, how other people have done it, um, and then make some decisions on the gear and the way that, that I run and, and have set up my system. So there's the caveat. So if I'm sure there are people that will look at this and go, that's bad or that's not real good or you could have done it differently. Um, but this is kind of how I, from my research and my understanding, how I've put my system together. So first of all, um, the big thing that I changed, obviously, is I wanted to um, charge the battery system. So first of all, I've got lithium. I've gone down the road to put lithium. Mate of mine, Mark, big shout out to Mark. He has um, given me, um, or us, a whole stack of, stack of lithium batteries. So they're 42 amp hour batteries, um, and there is five of them, I think there is. Anyway, so that was a real big gift for us. They're quite old. They're about eight, nine years old. They still seem to hold their charge. There doesn't seem to be any issues. And the research that I've done is that there's no real issues with them. Even though they're old, the capacity certainly would not be what they were. But um, yeah, they still they still seem to be doing really well. They've only been in the camper for a couple of months um, with this setup. But I haven't got any complaints so far. They charge really quickly. I've had the solar panel out for um, a couple of hours today. I mean, we didn't use that much last night, obviously, but it charged it back up to almost 100%. Okay, so this is the setup that I've got. So you'll see that it's sitting in the normal spot where everyone puts their batteries, um, which is underneath the seat. Um, so we've got the normal setup here. Um, this here is the display for the how much water is in the tanks. 240 volt outlet and that's just only if you're plugged in um, at a caravan park. I put in this controller box here which tells you what's going on um, and then the batteries and everything sits down here. So I made a decision again there's lots of naysayers who say they're no good but I went down the road of getting iTech weld stuff. Um, explanations. iTech weld. Um, I think they're kind of a, a company which is the middle of the road they're not too expensive they're not really the cheap end um, from all the research that I did um, they provided good quality gear but at a reasonable price so there's always risks I know a lot of people um, suggest that the iTech world stuff is not good but there's a lot of enough people out there to say that it does a reasonable job so in the end um, all the gear that's sitting under here other than the batteries obviously is all iTech world stuff um, and we bought um, a a charger that does um, DC, what's well, a DC to DC charger, so it'll charge off the um, starter battery in the car through an alternator. So I ran a really big thick cable um, down to the back of the car to an Anderson plug, um, and then obviously that runs via the A-frame into the the camper here. Um, that's the DC to DC charger does alternator and um, solar power. So that runs quite well and it's been doing its thing. Um, at the moment it's um, 
the solar panels in the shade so it's actually not charging it says that solar's connected but nothing's coming in um oh, the sun looks like it's just come back again um so that's the dc to dc charger that's seen in here there's an ac um charger in here which obviously when you plug it in to the um 240 on the when you're at a caravan park or you're charging your batteries at home that just runs through a normal 240 so this one here is the 240 outlet and then that obviously charges the ac here and which charges the batteries directly under here um, i've got a thousand watt inverter um i know a lot of people are running far bigger inverters but for us we don't need to run coffee machines and all sorts of stuff and a thousand watts big enough for us to charge camera batteries and laptop batteries and that sort of stuff so that's plenty big enough and we also at the time bought the remote head unit which is this thing here and so basically that turns your inverter on without having to open it up and switch things on um, underneath the seat so that's just really a um, remote head unit for that um, under here is all the batteries so like i said i think there was five separate batteries um, in the whole unit and that's what's sitting under here I ended up choosing to put in some um, bus bars or buzz bars I'm not sure how you pronounce that and that's what these are so obviously negative um, and positive bus bar there's a master switch under here and there's uh, some fuses further under also so that's what that runs um, under there there's the um, iTech World battery monitor and it runs through a shunt and that's what this thing here is um, and that basically measures um, in and out um, ampage of the battery. So in your in your controller unit here, so it says at the moment I'm using, if you look, sometimes it shows a little triangle pointing down, that means I'm using battery power, and if the triangle's pointing up, then um, um, it's charging the battery. So at the moment I'm sitting at, what, 96.7%. So, um, yeah, and that's after a whole night using everything and... Um, been on the um, solar charger for a while and we've been using it throughout the day obviously as well um, over here I ended up taking out the whole I think they call them a CCOM or CTEC I can't even remember the unit um, completely pulled that out that took up most of the space here and I put in a brand new um, fuse block where everything runs through so everything still runs through a fuse block um, and it's just a way then that I can turn everything off by this external battery switch here um, there's a little display I put in here just to say that the battery is on and then when I flick that off I can know that everything to the actual um, camper trailer is all turned off um, so lights are turned off anything anything electrical is turned off but the batteries haven't been isolated so if I wanted to charge the batteries and I'm at home or through the alternator um, that's not isolated unless I turn this master switch off here so that's how I've done it it doesn't come with Bluetooth, so I've just got this, it actually, this thing came in the camper trailer already, it's just a little gizmo that I can see um, voltages so I know whether it's charging and what the state of charge and all that sort of stuff, so it's just a inline thing that I'm running through the um, positive and negative bus bar. Um, yeah, that's it, it's fused, there's fuses everywhere, um, some auto fuses, some fuses that are fixed that you'll see in this, there's an auto fuse down the side here so when it trips I can just push it back in again down to some just fuses which are um, purely replace um, and going like that. Yeah, I think I think that's about it as far as the battery management system goes. Um, at the moment it's been running fine, happy with that. That's the biggest major change that we've done. Um, yeah, that's about it as far as the camper goes. So that was just having a bit of a look at the system and how I've installed it um, and where it's placed within the van um, and where I place some of the components, I suppose. A little bit more information. Um, all right. Again, I'm not an expert on this stuff, but this is how I approached um, putting together our system and how it should look. Um, when you're looking at different components, my advice would be get online, have a look what um, information is available online. A lot of the charging systems um, will have good uh, documents and diagrams. They have user manuals and that sort of stuff. So. That's where I went to, um, and that was part of the reason why I ended up going down the road of using iTech World, because they had some really good doco and information online that I could download. So my advice would be to get online, download all that stuff, print it out, and have a good read through it. So um, for the DC to DC charger, for example, um, they've got a full user manual, and they've got a full user manual for absolutely everything that they've got. Um, and I printed those all out and read those to get an understanding of what I was in for before buying absolutely anything. 
Um, and inside there, there's really good information on um, cable sizing, fuses that you need to use, um, which is very valuable information, obviously, when you're putting your system together. So you do need, if you're going to go down this road, you do need to have some sort of understanding around this stuff. If you don't, I would just advise to get someone to do it professionally for you, but there is obviously a cost associated with that. So yeah, download all the manuals, certainly worthwhile. The other thing that I really liked about iTech World is they had a wiring kit as well. So you can go and buy a complete system from iTech, they call them kits, um, battery kits I think is what they're called, and um, you can buy the whole complete system for a couple of thousand dollars, so included is your batteries, your chargers, your AC charger, DC to DC charger, inverters, um, I think they put in fuses, like master fuses and that sort of stuff as well in their kits. I didn't go down that road because I didn't want to, we already had batteries and I wanted to set up the way that I wanted to set up. But nevertheless, the kits, uh, the, the diagrams or the wiring diagrams give you some really good info on how to put your system together. And I'll throw that up too um, to show you that on the screen behind me. Um, it in there tells you some descriptions on um, cable sizing, so you can obviously pick that up from each individual components manual. Um, but this also has this um, the size of fuses that you should run, how you should run your cables, and that sort of information. So that's a certainly um, a worthwhile thing to um, grab a hold of too and have a look at before you purchase anything and make decisions on how you want to put your system together. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. I'm happy to take questions um, if you guys want to put something in the comments about um, putting these sort of systems together. Again, I'm by no means any expert at this. Um, I just did lots of research. Um, I'm pretty sure the system that I put together is fairly safe um, and usable. Um, yeah. At the end of the day, just do your research is, is what you need to do. Alright folks, until the next one, thanks for watching and I'll catch you later.